I really just think you're a imbecile, man. That's fine. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Joda, and welcome to episode 7 of Copper to Diamond. I wanted to take one episode to kind of sit down and address one of the biggest issues that I have with Rainbow Six right now, and that is solo queuing in the lower levels of ranked. Now, I will be the first to admit that this is not a problem with Ubisoft or anybody who's developing the game. However, it is a big problem with the people who choose to play the game in lower ranks, especially people who play with Smurfs at lower levels. Out of the last six ranked games I've played, I have had five of them that we have lost because the people were either so much better than us we couldn't compete, or because my entire team left and I was basically on my own. And boy, let me tell you, it sucks. However, one thing that I've begun to notice as I've been playing more and more through these rough rounds is that as I get killed over and over and over, I'm actually learning way more than I was before back when I was actually competing at the same level of everybody else I was playing with. I will say that doesn't make those rounds any easier at all. But what it does do is it makes me a better player overall who can compete better with those people at the level that I'm at. If I had to summarize, solo queuing and ranked at lower levels is both the best and worst thing about Rainbow Six. Good round, guys. That was kind of clean. Oh, and also, Rainbow Six is toxic. And if you don't believe me, well, I guess just just watch this. Friendly, last operator stand. Hey, bro, I'm just letting you know they're on the. Yeah, they were also off the bomb too. Off four no, they weren't. There were three left, and there was three in the objective. Yeah, that's not possible because I literally saw one off the objective with a few seconds okay, left. So, so do you think the one off the objective is more important than the three on the objective? 100% when it comes to pushing on the objective because then I'll be looking at the objective. He has my side or my back. That's an easy kill for him. You know what, man? So I then I'd be 100% death. You know what, man? I completely agree. Until the diffuser has about seven seconds left and you're not near the objective at all, try. Oh, I was right near the objective though. Yeah, you were standing near it and not moving. I like that I was angle. Moving the whole time. I, th I thought. Uh, oh, you weren't. The diff yeah, half was, the diffuser yeah. went off until you finally moved. I was watching you the I entire time. I was moving. I was yep, watching. I was you moving the entire time. Well, you weren't moving to the objective, so I really don't care. Yes, because there was a guy to my left that I was worried about. I really just think you're a f asshole, man. That's fine. We move carefully. Oh! Time to go forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and a comment telling me something I can do better. Uh, and I'll see you in episode 8.